Bella Gang, it's your girl Every Natural back at it again with another juicy girl talk. Bella Gang, best friends, and this girl talk video, I know a lot of you guys can relate because, honey, this is something that I've been struggling with for a long time because people really be having me effed up. But I'm telling you in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to control your anger because, like the old saying goes, honey, he who angers you controls you. And no, nobody should be able to control you but the man above, okay? So if you guys like, like what I'm talking about in this video, definitely comment below. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell next to the subscribe button because I will be uploading new videos all weekend. So you better want... I said you better want to. You might want to stay tuned for that. So yeah, like I said, we're going to get right into this video. Oh, oh, also, 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 also. Before we get into this juicy girl talk about how to control your anger, follow me on Instagram, sis. My Instagram's at Bella underscore bars. Without further ado, because you guys know I could talk up a storm. Let's get into this video. So I wrote them down as usual. And everything I'm about to tell you guys in this video, I personally do myself because, like I said, I've been a person that struggled with anger. I'm a cancer. We go 0 to 100. Even though I wouldn't hurt a fly, even though I could be the most caring, loving person, for that same reason, people think they could play with you. Not I, not her, not sis, not me. No, no way. But I learned that me lashing out and saying mean and vulgar things to hurt people that hurt me it didn't feel good to me. I ended up feeling actually really bad. So in this video, everything I'm about to say, you know, this is, I feel like, the most healthy way um, to deal with your anger and to overcome your anger. Like I said, you don't want nobody controlling your emotions because once you lose your emotions, you lose yourself. This is why so many people get locked up and they do 25 to life for killing somebody because they just blacked out, choking them, and now they got a body on their hands. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's worth that, okay? Ain't nobody in this world worth prison time, sis. So like I said, let me go for number one. And don't buy my makeup. It looks crazy. Matter of fact, I feel like I should put on my uh, shades because honey, <laughs> my makeup is not looking good. Oh, by the way, this shades is from Forever 21. I love it so much. And I love this um, furry top. If you, you're from the Queens area, I got this top from this store called Hot Point. But anyway... Let's start with number one. Oh, yeah, Fashion Nova has something like this, too. Number one, when you feel yourself getting angry, this is how to deal with your anger. Number one, remove yourself when you're feeling, when you're feeling like you're to the point of exploding on someone. Now, comment below or like this um, video if you feel it. Like, I know if you're really, truly an angry person and somebody got you effed up, you feel like your whole body is on fire fire like your 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 spirit everything is just boiling hot like you're so upset and I've been there so many times the last time I actually blew up on somebody was actually on this um guy that I was dating that you know like the story I told you guys that you know I find out he had a girlfriend and stuff like that I went in I went off but it was through text messages so I was going in but I was saying the most meanest hurtful hateful things and even though I didn't mean it I mean, I meant to say what I meant, but there's different ways to communicate with people because, number one, when you get into arguments, you got to understand that, you know what, I'm going to say that for number two, but when you get into arguments, just know, be careful what you say, and I'm going to keep that for, the, for later on in this video, but had I just removed myself from a situation, like, okay, I found this out, I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction of getting mad or showing you out of care, had I just removed myself and I said anything, now, that person that 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 knows that you should be cursing cursing them out they're gonna be stuck on stupid they're actually gonna be scared like all right so this girl normally blows up on me she did not blow up on me now this is not just for a guy this is for anybody that got you effed up if you remove yourself out of the situation you feel yourself getting really angry about to blast on that person and they know the type of person you are shock them by removing yourself out once you remove yourself out, and what I mean by remove yourself out, I, re I, I, I mean, let's say you guys are arguing through text message and they said something that got you effed up. You got, sometimes you got to leave people where they got you effed up at. When you feel like what they said was messed up or you feel like they disrespected you, remove yourself. Don't even give them a satisfaction of replying. Because when you re when, when sh once you reply, nine times out of ten, if you're arguing with somebody, that's because they're not getting your point across. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not, and they're not, um, they're not considering your feelings. They're not putting themselves in your shoes. So therefore, that's why you guys are even arguing. And I know me, that's my my main problem in life. Is when I'm I, the only reason why I argue with people or somebody that really did something to me 
is number one that's one thing about me i never start any drama i don't confront people you can ask my ex-friends you can ask my mama anybody i go off on people who's deserving of me going off on. i don't just walk around you know acting like some like some gangster bitch like you know the gangster bitch comes out when you f with me you know what i'm saying but that's neither here or there what i mean to say is that if you're arguing with somebody that's probably, and you're, and, you're, and you're saying it in an angry tone, it's probably because they're not getting what you're coming from. So, sis, just think about it. It's better to remove yourself out of the situation because they're not getting it. And whatever you say, it doesn't matter how many times you say it, how many ways you say it, they're not going to get it. Some people are stubborn. Some people only see things from their perspective. And they're just going to have you even more upset to the point where now you're going to get physical and want to choke somebody. You know what I'm saying? don't treat life as if it's love and hip-hop or the bad girls club you gotta le re really learn how to control your emotions you watch you know, you know we, we tend to watch reality shows and you know when people get the mess effed up they just want to throw shoes they want to fight they want to do da, da, da. and trust me i'll be wanting to get people get you to that point but you got to control that because in real life people will press charges and in real life people will retaliate against you and you don't need all of that drama in your life so the co the reason why i'm even doing this video on how to deal with anger because because if you don't control your anger, it can get the best of you. And now you're in so much drama and so much different court appoint. I said appointment. Court cases involved and stuff like that. People pressing charges on you. All because you can't handle your anger, sis. So, like I said, number one, remove yourself completely. If they're not getting it through text, don't worry about it. Just... Throw the whole conversation away. Don't, don't, don't. Even when they put question mark, hello, you still there? No. Don't argue with people that doesn't understand where you're coming from. It's not going to go nowhere, sis. It's like talking to a brick wall. Number two, take 20 deep breaths. It helps in bringing your anger down a few notches. And it also gives you the chance to think before you speak. And when you think before you speak is a, is a must because it allows you to avoid saying hurtful things that you can't take back. Now, how many of us got so heated and angry at a person that we said some harsh things that we really didn't mean, but because we were so angry, anger could do that to you. Anger could bring out the most vile, evil things to say to somebody. And, you know, you got to watch what you say because, you know, when you have a malice tongue, they say that in the Bible, like malice as in Whatever you think bad about something, somebody, whatever you say out your mouth to somebody that is like below the belt, karma will hit you right back with that shit. So if you say, oh, that's why you fat, you fat, and you know, the person that you're arguing with has like an eating disorder or, you know, it's hard for them to, to, to lose weight. The way karma works, next you know what, you're going to be the one that's big and can't lose weight. So you got to make sure that you are very conscious about what you say to people, especially those who you love. And especially if, if it's like a best friend, because if that's your best friend, nine times out of ten, honey, y'all going to be friends again. And I know me, honey, um, I had a best friend. We was best friends for like years, like 10 or 12 years. I knew her. We were so, so tight. Um, our, when we had our official fallout and we never spoke to each other again, to this day, we're cordial. Like, we follow each other on Facebook and stuff like that. But I will never look at her the same. And it's been 10, 12 years. And it's because she said things during our, our um, she said things during our um, fallout that just stuck with me to this day that I feel like I can never get past because that's those are the thoughts that you've been harboring this whole time and behind calling me sis, behind calling me your sister, you know, behind calling me your best friend you ever had. In your mind, you know, when we had our fallout, then she was like, oh, that's why you got stretch marks. That's why you got bigger. That's why this, that's why, I'm just saying. She, I mean, she was really really laying it on me like saying a whole bunch of stuff and i know she was angry and she did turn around and like you know apologize after our fallout because usually we make up to break we make up to we break up to make up type of thing but that fallout i was like nah i gotta watch out for you you the type of person that you just fake and I can't have fake bitches around me because I'm a real one. I'm the type of person, like, I'm going to argue with you, but I watch what I say very carefully. You know why I watch what I say very carefully? is because um, how she made me feel. And the fact that 10 years later I'm still um, reminiscing of what, those harsh words. Imagine the people that you're saying harsh things to. They're going to forgive you, but they're not going to forget, baby girl. So you got to be very cautious how you speak to people. And when you take 20 breaths, that's a long time. I'm talking about one, two. It allows you to think about, okay, 
why am I mad? Let me. Con it, it brings you. You bring. It makes you. You still angry, but it brings it a several notches down. It works for me, and I know that when I'm really, really angry, doing those deep breath exercises help me to just calm down, sit my ass down, or if I'm in a place where I'm attacked or getting angry, I know. All right. Time to call my lift. I'm out. Like, I took my 20 breaths, and I couldn't really violate you, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to reap the karma because you want to be a bad person. I don't have to be a, You don't have to be a bad pe person just because people are bad to you. That's the real That's the real glow up. People hate when they do things to you, and then you just pop up on their they, they, they Instagram feed, you know, just showing out, just glowing all over the place. And, you know, people love to make it seem like you're a bad person so they won't feel guilty about the things that they did to you. So sometimes... Sometimes, you know, you getting angry at the wrong person. They're really angry at themselves, but they're trying to put that anger on you. You don't got time for that, sis. Don't let that energy come into your spirit, honey, because that's how you lose your blessings. The blessed, like, you ever heard that, that, that saying, the blessed do not uh, mess with the miserable? Yeah, the blessed don't mess, the mess with the miserable, and that's me, because I'm a firm believer in transferring of energies, and I hate being around people that bring my energy low, or you're just messy. I, I can't deal with bitches that's messy, because, you know, if, if I deal with you, if I deal with you, sooner or later, I'm going to be a messy bitch, too. Like, no, I don't need to be messy. So, number three. This is very important to those of you who have a hard time dealing with your anger, and you don't know where to put your anger towards. Put your anger towards this, number three. Number three is do a physical activity that will allow you to take your frustrations out. So it could be kickboxing. It could be yoga, weight training, running. You know, I really prefer you do probably kickboxing or something that involves boxing because, like, even if you go to the gym, get you a, go to a gym that um, has the big punching bag and just let it, let it all out. I'd rather you let it all out in a punching bag than to let it all out on someone and you end up killing them. You know what I'm saying? Literally, it's real talk. That happens to people all the time. They don't understand how they got themselves, you know, doing life because they just can't let let their ain't their anger just controls them. So make sure that you use your anger towards something good. Maybe you like drawing. Why don't you go out to the beach? Go walk on the ocean. Do things that's gonna calm your mind, calm your spirit. You cannot um um you cannot deal with anger or get over your anger issues if you're around environments that constant constantly make you angry that's why i said number one to remove yourself that's why i said take 20 deep breaths and that's why i said to do a physical activity because when you physical you allow yourself to not only you're going to be fit because if you go to the gym a lot you know it's gonna not only when when, when listen <clears throat> When you do a physical activity, not only you can lose weight because you know you're doing you're doing a lot of cardio, but it's gonna bring your stress levels down and it's definitely gonna bring your anger down. Especially when you're punching on something like a punching bag, or you know what I'm saying, maybe you wanna go to a shooting range. Hey, go to the shooting range. It's better to go to a shooting range and shoot your goddamn best friend in the face. You know what I'm saying? So definitely that's a good way that I deal with my anger as well. I go to the motherfucking gym, honey. Yes, and it works. It works. Even though I, I feel like I gained a little weight, but I'm, I'm going to lose it. Anyway, number four. This is my last and final thing, how to deal with anger. You want to, and I, I'm sorry, guys. You guys know I got to bring God in every one of my videos because God is the truth and he helped me so many times. Number four is pray that God, pray for this specific prayer. Pray that God gives you the strength and discipline to not let your anger control you. Because like I said, who he, anger, he who angers you controls you. And if you get on your knees and you tell God, God, please, I wanna, I'm want i trying to stay in a righteous path. Because you know what's crazy? Every time you're trying to get your life together, every time you're trying to get into a good space in your life, it's like the devil don't, the devil don't want you to. You know what I'm saying? The devil brings people your way to mess with you, to take you off the righteous path. But you can't do that. Don't let the devil make, think he won because he's going to think he, he wins if you let your anger punch somebody, knock somebody out, or tell somebody something really nasty. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it happen to you. Pray to God for discipline and strength, and he's going to take care of you, sis. Now, if you guys like everything I said in this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, comment, um, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Bella underscore bars. I love you guys so much. Until next time, Bella gang, deal with your anger issues head on. And I promise you, if you go by everything I see in this video, you're going to see a drastic change in your anger problem. It's not going to happen overnight. Because with me, I still got to battle with, mm, curse, I curse people out. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I just feel so much better. I, like, being the bigger person doesn't mean that you're the weaker person.
remember that okay love you guys so much Mwah.